welcome everybody nft parent welcome back for another video it's friday so i hope everybody's looking forward to the weekend i hope you get to do something fun uh obviously this is not um financial advice just for entertainment just want to make sure i say that got some good projects to go over today we're going to start out with the defiance so it says become one of 10,000 defiant sustain your livelihood a livelihood within the defiant digisphere and take your place in shaping a new future so they have this crux token is at the core of the digisphere and it's generated by the 3,888 defiance equipped with yield weapons so there's only going to be 3,888 that have the weapons so it shows here defiant weapons crooks 10 trait categories 350 plus unique traits it's got the birth of them i just touch it here it's uh in the near future, the world economy has collapsed under the strain of archaic practices and the results of genetically engineered virus. So definitely read the lore. This is another one of those websites. It's very good. It's just very informative. So check them out at the defiancenft.com. Now, of course, I always have to mention the art because that's what I catch first. I really thought that this is really cool. I mean, the faces, the hair, just everything about this art really caught my eye. And then when I read about it, I saw, you know, it's kind of different with some of them just having the weapons and everything so again the weapons are only 3888 serial numbers printed on nft so every atrium crux will be attributed a serial number from birth so that's cool and then you got the the tokens can be spent in their exclusive value metaverse our ecosystem is only accessible to holders so they've got the roadmap they got they show the sandbox here they say gain access to knowledge become part of the metaverse explore explore the new world um says the initial stage are able to mint their um, shells NFTs as the minting of their surrogate cyber bodies. NFTs, the defiant uh, next phase of their mission is to take back the world that once belonged to people. So it's got, you know, it talks about the Crux Laboratory, the Brain Trust. Here's the minting roadmap. So 25% minted. You've got one ETH will be given in a raffle giveaway to, in the Discord channel. So make sure you get on their Discord. Two ETH, 50%, two ETH of funds paid out to contribute to the ETH system, 60%, 75%, three ETH. And then at 100%, 10 ETH will be sent to the Dow Treasury to fund the initial phase of the Brain Trust. And it says 30 random defiance will be airdropped to 30 holders. So you're talking about you can win ETH, you can win airdrops. They have a very good timeline that they show. I like how they light it up as they go. So public launch. Then the sandbox implementation. I own some sandbox land. That's really been shooting up. That's becoming very popular. I think that's going to be something that, you know, is going to be really fun in the future. Then 3D avatars. Then the brain trust Dow in the fourth quarter next year has show, talks all about the team, tells about their strengths and everything. I mean, I really like the detail on this site. This is one to look at to for, to get a good to do a good website. It says, uh, you know, it talks about how much they will cost. Point zero eight ETH. Um, whitelisted get in their discord you know to find out all about that and just l definitely check these out i think they're really cool get on their discord check out to get whitelisted it's got it right here on the front and it talks about minting here but read there's a lot of detail to this so check them out the defiance here we go this one's very different i thought this was very interesting so albinos versus wall street ready to shake the traders world one small launch for a collection one giant leap for an nft community so they've got the, the lore here all about, you know, uh, on Europa, they build a unique de decentralized underwater civilization. So get on here on Albinos versus Wall Street to read all that. I know I don't like to just read everything right off the site. I know you can do that for yourself. I just like to touch on stuff. Now, I did have somebody reach out and go, these look expensive to me, 0.161 ETH, which is a little pricey, I agree. But if you read the details, you get two for the price of one. So whenever you buy one of their Ruby Albinos, you freely get an emerald one, which will allow you to play on stocks as well as crypto. So this is the ruby. Then you got the the emerald here. So you get both of them for that. So it says the ones with emerald crystal will play on stocks. The ruby ones play on crypto. Since there's 20,000 Ibonos on their way to earth, there will be 10,000 spots for each of them. And then on stage two, all holders will be able to play a game. So it talks about as early investors, you receive both kinds. They will have a chance to play in both rooms. People want to play in stocks. will have to purchase it. Investors that want it from the giveaway. So it's got, you know, they talk about their statement. We see real value in communities because of their, um, you know, they unite in an education. So they really, their mission is to, you know, help each other sharpen their skills as, as investors. So this is very different public drop. They believe in their project, which they said, you know, they're very strong about community and project. At 20%, they're already going to be moving to the next stage. For confidence in us, if you invest early, you don't reach the 20% threshold. We are giving your investments back. So it says, um, 
Our NFT collection has a long-term value, so there's no doubt that the release will be successful. At 20%, they're moving to the next stage, and they will give you back your investment if they don't reach 20%. Albinos are here for the purpose, not for just crap business. As early investors, we receive both kind. I talked about playing stocks. Play to invest game. Our community matters. So a community of investors, we're preparing a game. Every member will trade either stocks or crypto, and the game will be educative and competitive character. So they're they're trying to teach you a lot here. Now, obviously, none of this is financial advice. Get on here and do your own research because this could be risky. But definitely get on albinosversuswallstreet.com because they've got a lot of details here also. It's going to be on Ethereum. Um, it talks about, you know, uh, when you plan to launch Cardinal Estimates, about one month from now. So, you know, they're talking, you know, middle to end of December, maybe the beginning of January. But it says, you know, they live on a decentralized society. So they, they symbolize def decentralized finance. So not what normal Wall Street is. That's why they're talking about, you know, centralized finance is Wall Street. So they believe that, you know, that's what's next. It talks about stage three. But these look like, I think this is going to be very interesting and something that, you know, the arts need. But the whole pro, this is one of those that what it, what it stands for is something totally different and something you may learn a lot and you may find out that you can invest right now it says landing on december 8th so they've maybe moved that back a little bit from when they originally thought but check these out albinos versus wall street very interesting now fun one a little more kid friendly we got baby apes rescue so you can mint these uh it says their home in the Timbu forest is currently on fire and it's burning down. They need urgent help giving new homes before their extinction. There's a total of just 2,500 different ones before extinction. So adopt a baby. You can get on OpenSea here. Uh, apes cost 0 0.07 ETH. There are no price tiers. Cost the same for everybody. They're featured on MarketWatch, Yahoo Finance. I, th I, I of course, caught the art. and so I like the wizard one and the one with the pirate hat. I, I'm a baseball fan, so I saw that one also. So they have 2,500. Each is bred unique to have different behaviors. You'll notice different eyes, clothing. Uh, you'll be able to mint up to five per transaction, two from the white list. So definitely check out their Discord. And the website is babyapesrescue.com. This talks about all the different rarities. This have they. I like how they actually show so many instead of just one or two. They have what a lot of them look like. So you can really get an idea if this is something that you like the art of. But, you know, this is fun. Some of these would be fun for kids. They have the roadmap. They talk about launching merchandise, make a $5,000 donation to Global Climate Change Initiative, which is awesome. Community raffle for holders went up to 0.8 ETH, which that's right now with what ETH's at, 0.8 is a lot. Then they want to do a bar token. It says uh, Apes Rescue will be able to yield bar rewards. So um, you can be used to change your name, bio, birth date of your baby ape, as well as upgrade banana tree to generate more bar token daily. You'll be able to claim banana trees and yield additional bar daily, treehouse um, access. Then phase two, it talks about the discord and expanding the bar utility token. Then phase three, they're talking about entry into the metaverse. So a lot of those are going, you know, Decentraland, Sandbox again, a lot of that stuff. Then a cloning laboratory. And then phase three, expansion of the metaverse to include games and community events. So, you know, this is very, today is definitely a show to check out some very good websites. I like show us how they're created, how they mint, where they go, the tokenomics, everything about it, about the team. They have a nice large team on this, but I really like this website. I think the art's cute. I think it's fun. So check out Baby Apes Rescue. Another fun one that I reached out to, Kogo Nuts. So I thought that I, the name caught, I got to admit, the name caught me first, but then I looked at them. I was like, oh, these are super cute. So 100% original, 100 plus attributes, November 30th launch date. So they're coming up in the near future, a little after Thanksgiving US here. Every Kogo is unique. They're special in their own drinky way. All tributes were uh, all attributes were hand drawn with love and dedication by the artist. Come and get your unique NFT. So I thought some of these are super cute. I mean, you got one looks sad with ice in it. You got this one throwing up. So they definitely got got some different ones. But some of them are kid friendly. You know, you may not want your kids to have the one throwing up. But you know, if they're a little older, it can be fun. Uh, the roadmap. They talk about the social media. This is a Solana launch. A uh, pre-launch whitelist, 600. So get in their Discord, join that whitelist. 600 of you can get in. I don't know if they've, I don't believe they've filled up the 600 yet, but check it out. Talks about listing available on marketplaces after that. Then um, they'll gladly deliver organization. They're going to give 10% of creators fee to delivered organizations fighting to save trees, which is fantastic. Then merchandise, then merge ability. Pick two Kogo nuts and merge them into Gen 2 nuts, which is neat. And in the future, they truly believe the project will be one of the biggest chips on the Solana blockchain. They keep integrating utilities 
and they want to do cross collaborations, campaigns, airdrops, giveaways, you know, many cool features. It, again, another good site it talks about questions, talks about what's the story. I mean, you know, it talks about the Gen 2 and it talks about the secondary and rarity and wallets. They tell you, you know, the, where the wallets at, everything about it. So definitely check out getcogonuts.com because I think the art is super cute. I mean, these are adorable and I just like that it's just a fun, you know, going to be inexpensive project. You don't have to worry about, you know, gas because it's on Solana. So definitely check this out and see if it's something you might want to invest in. I think it's very fun. Last one we got here, Days Ducks. So I jumped on uh, their website. They're still kind of finishing that up, but I jumped on the white paper because I feel like I don't do that very often and it really gives very good detail. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what a white paper looks like. Every NFT project usually has one. All cryptocurrencies have one. It just gives you, you know, lets you know, kind of sums up what it's about, gives you some details. First of all, the art, I saw the robot looking one. I was like, that is really cool. I think this is neat. I mean, another fun one I think kids would like. So it says, uh, they, uh, they're approaching moon base, prepare, uh, metagalactic club for raft arrival, quack, quack. So it shows, shows the duck here. It says it's an NFT collection with access to the Dow community for ducks living in the earth, looking for more than just interstellar gains. They want intergalactic financial freedom. So during the interstellar time, animals have reached a new level of intelligence beyond humans. It's taken a strategic refuge to form mega at Meta -gal Galactic Club on his moon base with a raft of his own trying to avoid the wrath of uh, animal tribes and starlight poachers. These are the day's ducks. 10,000 of them. Shows different, you know, they got legendary, rare, uncommon. These are on Solana also. There's going to be early bird and public sale, so they're going to cost one Solana, it says. It talks about the rarity, the skins, the beaks, the eyes. I mean, they have some really fun ones here. I like the glasses on that one. They got different backgrounds. Talks about third quarter. I like how they're checking off early bird pre mint December 15th. So get on their Discord, check out daysducks.com. That's this website that you can get on. It has a link to this white paper, but definitely get in their Discord to check out the pre mint. Then it talks about, you know, reward payments to holders, members dashboard, a DAO discussion, uh, play to earn games, charity votes. So they want the community. They were very say, saying, you know, the community needs, needs to make our decisions. We don't want to just do it ourselves. We want to hear the voice of the people that bought the NFTs, which I love to hear. They play to earn game metaverse discussion. So again, I mean, Sandbox to Centerland. There's other ones coming out. This is what a lot of them are going this way. So you have a game. It gives more utility. You don't just have a picture to look at. It's just, it gives a lot more utility, which is fun. Uh, why hold a duck talks about the holder rewards. The DAO submission, the proposal, the bragging rights, um, how they work, duck holder rewards, 80%, duck wallet fund, 20%, and they'll automatically split those. The ecosystem it talks about, again, project funding, the royalties kick in, um, they'll be generated through the ecosystem. Eventually, the duck fund will be entirely managed by, by you guys, the holders of the ducks, upon launching the metagalactic DAO. So, you know, it explains how each, how the public sale, early bird sale is. The business ventures, the game. So again, a site with a lot of info, daysducks.com. But the art's fun. The team seems fun. I had a lot of fun chatting with them. They're very excited about the video here. But definitely check out this whitelist because I think it's fun to see what whitelists are all about. And definitely check out the Days Ducks, another fun one. Please have a great weekend. I'm NFT Parent on Twitter, NFT Parent on YouTube. Please share, subscribe, we retweet. The more you get, the more I can keep doing this. I have a very busy day job, but I, this is a hobby. I love doing this, so I want to keep doing it. And as people reach out and interact with me, it just gets me more excited to continue to make these. So please reach out. Let me know what you're looking at. Let me know if you need any help with anything, and I'd be happy to give any advice I can. And I love this community. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day and weekend. Thank you. Bye.